Welcome to the next episode of the Dark Web Deacon. Before we begin, be sure to smash that subscribe button, click the bell to turn on notifications. New videos are published every Monday and Thursday, and as always, be sure to like and provide comments. In the public imagination, hacking is inevitably a criminal activity. Hackers wear dark hoodies and lurk in the basements across the world just itching to get access to your bank account. Or they're the lovable nerd in a Hollywood movie doing something that no one really understands. People more familiar with computer culture know that hacking and hackers are much more diverse and nuanced than this. If you want to skip the rest of this video, the 60 second overview is this. The terms white hat, gray hat, and black hat are shorthand for the degree to which hackers help people or participate in criminal hacking culture. Black hat hackers are criminals eager to hack into apps and steal information. White hat hackers are researchers and security experts who use their security expertise to protect people and systems. Gray hat hackers occupy a much more complex middle ground between white and black. And then there are a few other terms like blue, red, and green hat hackers, which is based on experience, skills, and overall ethics. Now diving into the details. Black hat hackers are criminals who use their hacking skills to gain access to consumer data, company secrets, government classified information, and anything else that can be used for nefarious purposes or for financial gain. Black hat hackers come in many varieties, as do criminals. Some are highly skilled coders who use their experience to gain access to passwords and hack consumer data. Others are opportunists who use behavioral engineering and social engineering to convince consumers to give away their sensitive data. So this is stuff like phishing and smishing attacks. Black hat hackers don't limit themselves to a specific set of goals generally. They will gleefully seek out all information that offers them any value. Some other reasons black hat hackers might hack is to either A, support a crime in the physical world, B, for blackmail, also uh, C, for ransomware attacks, also identity theft, or just out of pure curiosity. White hat hackers, on the other hand, use their skills to support governments, corporations, security organizations, or even individual users. In most cases, they are employed by an entity that asks them to keep tabs on potential areas of exposure. White hat hackers are generally sticklers for the rules. This is especially true when they're hired for security purposes. Some have law enforcement or military backgrounds and that in which they receive their training for their roles. Some of the many roles that white hat hackers can play in include monitoring traffic in and out of your app to look for signs of hacking, attempting to hack into your applications using various and ever evolving techniques, developing and testing patches for security holes, monitoring changes in how the competition is doing business. Sometimes a change in another application indicates a security hole that could also affect your business as well. Next up is gray hat hackers. Gray hat hackers know all too well that the world of hacking and security is rarely black and white. Gray hat hackers merge the good and the bad, embracing a more nuanced world. So what exactly do gray hat hackers do? Well, it's a mixed bag. The simplest and perhaps least ethically questionable version of a gray hat hacker occurs when white hat hackers strike out on their own. They attempt to hack into apps or other sources of data and then notify the business of those potential leaks or vulnerabilities. Some other versions of gray hat hackers include acting as a white hat hacker as part of a day job and then moonlighting as a black hat hacker, illegally downloading code or other intellectual property with the intention of improving security, breaking the law in the attempt to thwart criminals, or working with a company to improve security, but doing so by breaking into other companies' data to learn about security holes. Because the world of data hacking is very complex, there is significant disagreement about the difference between a gray hat and black hat hacker. This is especially true in the world of law enforcement. 
where behavior that seems perfectly reasonable to most people, such as hacking a company's data to notify them of the vulnerability, would be seen as black hat hacking to other people and could land you in jail potentially. Other hacking types that you need to know are script kitties, green hat, blue hat, and red hat hackers. Though gray, black, and white hat hackers are probably the best known hacking styles in the world outside of hackers, there are a few other types that are not so common. So script kitties. These are the beginning hackers, often kids or very young adults, who are new to the hacking world. They have a basic idea of how computer coding works, but they can't write their own code generally, and instead they steal code from others and use it to hack into devices or applications. Green hat hackers, they are slightly more grown up versions of script kitties. They're new to hacking still, but unlike script kitties, they do care about the quality of their code and often can write a little bit themselves. And depending on what they do, they can still be categorized as a white, black, or gray hat hacker and still be a green hat hacker at the same time. Blue hat hackers, they are black hat hackers with a little experience and some skill. Sometimes they're seeking revenge due to a personal vendetta, other times they're doing what they can to access sensitive data. In the world of computer security, blue hat hackers can also refer to hackers hired by a consulting and security firm to look and close security exploits. So this is a little bit of a vague one, depending on how it's applied and what the actual hacker is doing. Red hat hackers, these are very ethical hackers and take hacking ethics very seriously. So seriously, in fact, that they're willing to destroy the lives of any black hat hackers who cross their paths. Rather than blocking these hackers from a system or reporting them to authorities, red hat hackers will take it upon themselves to try to shut down black hat hackers and hack them. Thanks for watching, and as always, please like, subscribe, and provide comments and turn on notifications by clicking the bell in order to check out future videos published twice a week.